Hi, welcome to video on Virtual Lab developed at uh, Department of Telecommunication Engineering, Sindhugang Institute of Technology, Tumkur. So, in this video, we'll go through what are the contents of uh, the Virtual Lab that is developed uh, in the department. So, let us uh, uh, click on this uh, button, click here to start. So, if I click on this, now this is the main page where we can do Virtual Lab for analog electronic circuits and uh, if you click on uh, this button so it will go to experiments on rectifier circuits with line and load regulation so let me click on this so these are the different uh, circuits that have been developed under virtual lab so we have half way rectifier and regulator we have full way rectifier and regulator and we have a bridge rectifier and regulator at any point of time if you want to go back to the previous page uh, we can click on this back to previous page button so let us move on to uh, see okay what is there in half wave rectifier and regulator circuit in this half wave rectifier and regulator we have again three variants so one is uh, the half wave rectifier the other one is half wave rectifier with c filter the third one is half wave rectifier and the regulator so let us uh, move on to half a rectifier what all uh, things we have in this if i click on to this half a rectifier i can see uh, uh, the heart of uh, this virtual lab is uh, the analog discovery uh, kit which is being used to apply the waveform and to uh, see the waveforms and to do the measurements and before we actually click to conduct the experiment so let us see what are the other things possible uh, options there in this virtual lab so you are supposed to view the waveforms in analog discovery all the measurements will be done in this analog discovery scope and we are supposed to take the readings and let us see uh, what all things we have for this experimental so let us uh, click on this uh, click to view the experimental detail let me click on this and you can also note that uh, there is a note given circuit will reset in 10 seconds uh, whatever whenever you actually uh, click on this click to conduct a uh, half a rectifier so it will be conducting so it will be available for only 10 seconds so why we made it only 10 second is because it will be uh, uh, the real operation will be happening in terms of uh, the transformer will be connected to 230 volt so we are supposed to ensure that uh, the circuit is not loaded if it is operated for a long time so we have taken care that okay the circuit will reset in only 10 seconds so within 10 seconds we can actually uh, store the waveforms in waveform and we can make the measurements leisurely so let us see what happens what are the experimental details we have for this circuit diagram for that let me click on this click to view the experimental details so let me click on this so we'll get the details of uh, Okay, this is the experimental detail what we have for uh, the half a rectifier. As you can see, the supply voltage is 230 volt 50 hertz. We have used a transformer with a rating of uh, 9 volt, 0 and 9 volt. It's a center tap transformer uh, with a current rating of 1 ampere. And we are using a diode 1N4148 and we are using a resistor of 1 kilo ohm. You can see C1 plus C2 plus corresponds to the channel that have been used in the uh, analog discovery scope so this is used as the input and this is used as the output and we have some design equations uh, as per the half a rectifier uh, the peak input voltage is given by the root 2 times the vrms the dc voltage uh, for a half a rectifier is given by a v peak by the pi and uh, this is the waveform that we are expecting. I can see uh, the yellow one corresponds to the input, the blue one corresponds to the output. As you can see at the peak, we have a slight uh, variance here. So this is the diode drop. The parameters what we are looking at uh, while doing the measurement is one is VRMS. So uh, as per the connection, since it is 909, we are supposed to get 80 nodes. And the peak voltage is uh, uh, root 2 of 18 happens to be 25.4 the dc voltage is 8.1 the diode drop is assumed to be 0.7 volt so these are the calculated values as per these equations when we actually conduct the virtual lab we are supposed to measure the values of vrms the v peak and uh, 
the DC voltage and of course we can also measure what is the diode drop. So these are the readings that has to be measured while doing the virtual lab. Uh, once we know okay, what are the things that are there in this experimental details and we can actually uh, click on this uh, button to actually conduct the hardware rectifier experiment. If you click on that, uh, the actual connections will be established as per the circuit diagram and we can able to view the waveforms in the scope of analog discovery. So we'll see those uh, analysis uh, in the next video. We shall move on to uh, the next experiment. That is in the half wave rectifier, how does the waveforms and the circuit will look like for a half wave rectifier with filter. So let me go back to previous page. I am going back to previous page. Now this is the half wave rectifier with uh, filter. Now this is what is the half wave rectifier with uh, C is equal to 470 microfarad. If I click on this, so I will get uh, the details. Uh, uh, this is, if, if I click on this, I can conduct the experiment corresponding to uh, half wave rectifier with a C filter of uh, C is equal to 470 microfarad and we are supposed to measure the ripple voltage uh, on the scope of analog discovery. Here also the circuit will be operating for 10 seconds. If you want to uh, restart you have to click on this again. Let me go back to the previous page and try to see uh, what are the circuit diagram uh, that are there possible in this uh, both half wave rectifier. Uh, with C filter whether the value of C can be either 470 microfarad or 100 microfarad. Let me click on this and uh, we will get the circuit. Okay, these are the experimental details uh, for the half wave rectifier with uh, C filter. As you can see this is a circuit diagram and we have the capacitor uh, with 470 microfarad connected here and uh, Depending on which okay, which option you are choosing, this capacitance can be either 100 microfarad or 470 microfarad. The design equations are given here. So, with the assumption of uh, VD on as uh, oh, 0 0.7 volt and uh, assuming the frequency as 50 hertz, the ripple voltage is given by the expression uh, V peak minus VD on by FRC. So, we are using uh, these equations. Uh, the reference for all these equations is uh, the Behad Rezavi which is a textbook on microelectronics, fundamentals of microelectronics. Now these are the waveforms that we are going to get on the uh, oscilloscope, uh, the oscilloscope of analog discovery. As you can see the blue one uh, corresponds to the ripple voltage which is measured at uh, C2, which is measured at the output. And the yellow one is uh, the waveform due to C1 plus, which is the input voltage. Now the parameters to be measured are the RMS voltage, the peak voltage, uh, the ripple voltage with C is equal to 100 microfarad and C is equal to 470 microfarad. So these are the calculated values. So substituting the values of uh, all the voltage frequency in the R and Cs, we got the ripple voltage as 4.934. C is equal to 100 microfarad. For 470 microfarad, theoretical value is 1.05 volt. We are supposed to actually measure the uh, all these voltages on the oscilloscope of the analog discovery. So you can actually measure the peak to peak voltage of this ripple voltage which happens to be the ripple and we can measure the peak voltage of uh, this input and we can measure the RMS so that we can fill these measured values when you are actually conducting the experiment. So let us uh, go back to uh, again the previous uh, window and try to see what all other possible uh, things are there in this half a rectifier. Uh, now we know okay, what all things we are supposed to measure in half wave rectifier with uh, C filter. So let us go back to previous page and try to see uh, what is there in half wave rectifier and regulator circuit. If I click on this, now we have uh, two regulators that is uh, plus 5 volt regulation using 7805 and plus 12 volt using 7812. Let me click on this plus 5 volt regulator using 7805 IC. If I click on this, so we can do both line regulation as well as the load regulation. So let us see what is uh, possible in line regulation and how can we do this line regulation. Now this is uh, the window where you where you can conduct the experiment for line regulation of 7805. And uh, to see the details of uh, this experiment, so let us click on this. Uh, circuit diagram to get the details of okay what are things to be uh, measured in this line regulation experiment.
again here the circuit will reset in 10 seconds if you want to redo it you can click on this uh, line regulation x uh, line regulator uh, of 7805 again and again if you want to restart the experiment so let me click on this to see the details of uh, the circuit corresponding to line regulation okay following is the experimental detail that we have it for half rectifier with uh, line regulation as you can see now uh, we don't have any capacitor uh, the input resistance of the 7805 will act like the uh, load for this rectifier as you can see now so the input apply to this regulator is a half rectifier signal and uh, we note that uh, from data sheet of 7805 the minimum voltage for proper regulation is 7.5 volts so as the applied voltage to this regulator is a half a rectified signal we are bound to have the input voltage uh, less than the 7.5 as well as more than 7.5 because from this 909 we are going to have uh, the peak voltage as almost 25 volts and it is varying from 0 to 25 so that's why as we can see in this uh, waveform so this is the half a rectified signal that will be applied to the uh, input of the regulator so as we can see now so this is the waveform that we are going to be applying to this regulator so as the input voltage is less than the uh, 7.5 the output is not regulated you can see the output will be get regulated only if the input voltage exceeds 7.5 volts meaning to say we need to uh, in order to obtain the line regulation graph so we are trying to find out at different input voltages what is the corresponding output DC voltage so if the input voltage is 2 volts the output voltage is uh, typically 1.2 we are supposed to actually measure what is the actual voltage when you are conducting the experiment when the input voltage is uh, 6 the output voltage is still not regulated you can see so from the data sheet it is said that uh, 7805 requires minimum 7.5 volts so when the input voltage is more than 7.5 that is 8 10 15 20 the output voltage has to be uh, constant at 5 volt so this is the typical uh, uh, readings that what we are expected so we can actually find out what is the voltage that will be getting for these input voltages so that is when the input voltage is less than 7.5 so any voltage more than 7.5 as you can see in, in this region the output voltage is constant which is at 5 volt same thing can be repeated for the 7812 regulator IC also because 78 regulator uh, 7812 regulator IC requires 14.5 as the minimum input voltage so we can exactly do a similar type of experiment so for 0 what is the output voltage uh, these are the typical values we can actually uh, measure the uh, voltages at what we will be getting for 10 volt it may be uh, of course may not be 4.5 maybe around uh, 8 volt for 15 it is 12 for 18 it is 12 for 20 it is 12 you can see any input voltage beyond 14.5 uh, we are getting an output voltage of 12 constant you can see uh, if, you, if you assume this as 12 so this seems to be 12 volt for an input voltage beyond 14.5 so line regulation uh, plot we can able to get it by applying input voltage less than the minimum regulated voltage and more than the input uh, minimum required for regulation for 7805 it is 7.5 so for 7812 it is 14.5 volts so this way we can uh, actually uh, conduct the experiment by clicking on conduction button so so if you click on this uh, click for line regulation in 7805 so we will be actually applying a rectified signal to regulator and we can uh, see similar waveforms on the oscilloscope and we can actually do the measurements so in the next video we shall see okay, how to do the uh, load regulation in this load regulation also we have for 7805 load regulation with different loads so first we do with uh, no load without connecting any uh, load at the output then we have a load of 20 ohm we have a load of uh, uh, 10 ohm connected at the load so we'll see how does the output voltage changes we can uh, make a plot of uh, uh, load current versus the output voltage that we'll see in the next video